All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? Um, This play has been in work for a few months. I knew this was a real thing because Drake is on a big love wave, and it looks like Meek is about to be on a big love wave. So let me break down what I'm saying here. I believe Drake and Meek Mill are about to end their beef from the standpoint, I believe they're about to meet up soon. I believe Drake is going to bring Meek Mill out to OVO Fest this year. If Meek can find a way to get out the country, if that is possible, I believe Drake's definitely bringing him out to OVO Fest. I think it's, I think they're about to end their beef. All right, so let's let's go back with here. When Meek Mill got incarcerated um, on a show during Drake's tour, Drake hopped on stage and said, free Meek Mill. I know the audio is a little fuzzy right there, but that was Drake telling a fan uh, at a show, I see you got the free Meek Mill shirt on, free Meek Mill too. So we already know Drake moved on from this beef, right? Which we all, I think, definitively say Drake won, hands down, with back to back. But it's all about if Meek Mill's moved on after all. Meek Mill was the one who started this beef with Drake criticizing Drake for allegedly not pulling up to a show well, Meek Mill's Welcome Home concert the last time he was released from incarceration. Also being upset about the fact that maybe he thought Drake took a shot at him on his own record when Meek Mill was fresh in a relationship with Nicki Minaj. The record was called Rico, right? And, and Meek felt as if though Drake dissed him on his own record. Somebody got in his head, told him that, then Meek Mill started reaching out to people that, that linked him and Drake together for the record. It got to DJ Drama. And Drama was like, yo, Meek, I know you ain't, I know Drake ain't diss you because he ain't write that shit. Someone else wrote it for him. Drama played Meek the reference track. Meek was like, are you serious? So now I'm not even pissed about me, uh, Drake possibly dissing me. Now I'm pissed about the fact that Drake don't write his own shit when I'm giving this my blood, sweat, and tears. So Meek got in his feelings, got on Twitter, tried to air Drake out, say he wanted the grace. He, I thought everybody had to write their shit if they claimed to be the best rapper. And again, to each his own, but there's consequences behind that. And the consequences to Meek Mill was back-to-back, uh, -back, all right? That is as lethal and as nice as this record you will ever hear. I don't even think Drake cursed in that record one time. Nevertheless, that was then, 2015. We're here now. Drake is in a great space. Meek Mill looked like he's going to be in a great space. And I think Meek Mill just hinted that he's now over the beef with Drake as well. If you look on his Instagram account, Meek Mill, while he's talking to the governor, I believe, as he continues to try to use his platform and his voice to help reform our uh, justice system, which definitely needs a crap ton of re reforming, right? I, I seen in the caption, he said God's plan, all right? Now, we're no fools here. No one was using the term God's plan until Drake came up with the record God's plan. I'm not saying people didn't use it, but not in the hip hop community. It became a big thing when Drake made this phenomenal record that's, by the way, been like top three for four months now. All right. So I definitely believe Meek Mill wouldn't have said that if, if him and Drake weren't on the best of terms, because at the worst, I was told that, you know, when they were beefing or really at it, Meek ain't want to hear nothing about Drake, right? Even Nicki says it was, it was a tough time. Meek ain't, Meek ain't want to hear no Drake records, no nothing. He couldn't even enjoy, enjoy the Drake and Future tape because he wouldn't sit around and listen to a nigga like Drake rap anymore. So, again, for him to even be spurring the words out, God's plan, it tells me that he's in a better space now. And it tells me that these two, at the bare minimum, can work in the same space, maybe get booked for the same show, even though Drake ain't doing a whole bunch of, like, uh, award shows or he ain't doing a whole bunch of uh, festivals or anything like that or, or radio shows if, if there was a case it's telling me at the bare minimum they can work in the same building you know we've seen Drake go to Philadelphia and he diss Meek on stage and Philly goons allegedly try to find Drake at his hotel and at the arena all that's in the past I believe these two big time artists are in much bigger spaces right now 
and I believe in my heart of hearts, Drake's gonna try to bring Meek out for OVO Fest this year. If, if it's possible legally, and if, if Meek's not incarcerated because he's still dealing with that probation hearing, I think Drake's gonna try his best to bring Meek out for OVO Fest this year, and it'll be a moment, right? It'll definitely be a huge moment. Or hell, I don't know. What if Meek was able to make Summer Jam and Wayne brought out who's performing at Summer Jam? What if Wayne brought Drake out and Drake brought Meek out to create a, a New York hip hop moment? I don't know. Anything could happen. I think that moment will probably happen at OVO Fest if it happens at all. But when you see Meek saying God's plan on his post, trust me, there's something behind that. He's no longer infuriated with the beef with with Drake. And to be fair, Meek even said back to back was a hard record, but he didn't feel as if though it was hard enough to get him out the paint or anything like that. And, and Drake, I don't think ever wanted to beef with Meek, but I feel as if though he, he had no choice because there was an artist with credibility challenging his credibility as an artist. So thank y'all for the time, love support. I don't take it for granted. What y'all think? Would y'all be here for a Meek Mill and Drake collaboration? See them in their beef and some records come out of it because Rico was a hard record. And it's a shame that that record went to waste. It probably would have been a top 10 joint if the two weren't beefing. When they got in tour, you kind of just had to throw the whole damn record away, to be honest with you. What y'all think? Talk to me in the comment box below. I compare it to like a Jay-Z and Nas. If they were able to get on the same page, anything is possible. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!